गुड इवनिंग ऑल जय हिंद आई होप यू आर ऑल वेल फाइन हेल्दी एंड सेफ ग्रेट टू हैव यू आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑल द फाइन डिटेल्स अबाउट लेवल फाइव वॉट डू वी डू इन लेवल फाइव बैच दिस इज फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ ग्रेट सेवन एंड एट विल बी ऑल्सो टॉकिंग अबाउट द की स्किल्स विच दिस बैच इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू अक्वायर एंड दीज आर द की स्किल्स विच आर गोइंग टू हेल्प यू लेटर डाउन द लाइन अ लॉट we will also be talking about the good math contest that you can and that you should be giving at this stage that is nmtc and amc8 and uh, what are the key skills uh, to be acquired if you want to do well in these uh, uh, kind of examinations uh, so let us get started level 5 batch so the foremost thing that uh, the learning goals of this particular batch so it helps you improve logical and critical thinking right so that is the core objective we make students think right so that is the core philosophy of uh, vedantu olympia school hum bachcho ko sochna sikhate hain we improve their logical and critical thinking we help them with uh, the amazing problems which help them uh, get give uh, out of the box ideas uh, problem solving skills so if a problem which is new to them right they should not be saying ki ye to ma'am ne karwaya nahi we have not done this in school they should be anyways working hard to at least try and uh, try to complete the problem improvement is school marks because overall if the thinking level is improved it is always going to holistically improve uh, uh, everything uh, including the school marks uh, all the math contest that he is going to give including the ones which are very famous in school uh, uh, he is going to be uh, you know scoring top marks math test confidence there are a lot of students who fare mathematics these kind of batches these kind of critical uh, thinking batches they help improve instill the confidence in mathematics and remove the fear of mathematics uh, it is going to be having very strong base because we are going to borrow a lot of things which otherwise are done or not done even not done in school level at any grade and uh, we are going to introduce those things uh, which are going to so that the child is able to think holistically in a in a wider way and of course uh, one of the best feedback that we get from uh, the parents of these particular batches is ki bachcha baithna seekh gaya right so he started sitting for long hours uh and and this is only possible if we are able to create an interest of mathematics or any other subject in him so that uh, you know he at least starts setting and once he starts setting for a single subject it uh, the induces the effect in other subjects also uh <clears throat> the habits which this particular batch uh, uh, you know helps forming one is ask questions so we encourage our all our students to ask a lot of problems even a uh, trivial problem like why is 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 right so everything so the one of the core things core principles that we follow in this particular in these kind of batches is if you do not know the proof you cannot use it so if you are not able to prove that a plus b plus c is 180 degrees in a triangle you cannot use this theorem right so so that is we ask students to go from very basics and ultimately develop things on their own right so they are able to create magic they are able to create a lot of formulas on their own at this particular stage and this is the core ideology that we follow uh we you know encourage a lot of notes making because notes making is one key area which is going to help them later down the line for uh, you know big competitive exams like iit je ias i neat so notes making is going to be a very important thing and it is very important that child learns note making at this particular age summarizing idea so if uh, there's a long problem uh after doing the problem can he summarize uh, the ideas this is again going to be a very key skill uh uh going down the line knowledge sharing and self learning so again we encourage a lot of knowledge sharing so anything that you know uh, uh we encourage that uh, you you tell it to others we form tele telegram groups wherein the students have full freedom they can share anything they can make their own video tell uh, about the video to the fellow friends and uh, a lot of discussions happen on randomly new topics also in in, in the batch uh, methods and approaches what are the new methods approaches that we uh, you know uh, for in this particular batch so one is drawing diagram so this is the age wherein we introduce uh, geometry to them and uh, it is very important to make good diagram so that you are able to view things uh, very beautifully pattern identification right so if there's a new problem if you are able to find a pattern uh, uh, identify a pattern of course uh, it helps it goes a long way to solve some really difficult problems later down the line guess work so again a lot of our uh, Uh, we we introduce a lot of quizzes and a lot of options so one key thing that we always help is uh, with the help of the options you are able to eliminate some of the wrong options and this is one key uh, idea that we start introducing at this particular age uh, solving a part of the problem so there are certain problems which are huge humongous 
and children fear reading them because uh, even the question is four, five, six line long. <clears throat> so encourage them to break the problem into small parts and um, uh, solve part of the problem and then ultimately go for the full. Forming an equation, right? So, so this is something which otherwise they would introduce, get introduced in grade 9, grade 10, but uh, we introduce uh, the forming of equation at this particular age, right? So, so we give them very trivial problems, very simple problems. We encourage them to form equations and solve the equation on their own. And of course, uh, quick calculation, simplifying calculation, this is a key area. So these are the areas that we work on in this particular uh, level. And uh, what are the other skills? So one is thinking and analytical skills, logical thinking, systematic thinking, step by step. So how to solve things uh, step by step. Numeracy skills, that is the understanding of uh, numbers in the big way. Uh, problem solving skills, right? So if there's a new problem which is given to you, how do you solve that particular problem on your own? Observation, good observations and uh, understanding the questions. So again, one of the main problems of uh, the students at this age is they're not able to understand the problem. Leave apart uh, the solution, understanding the problem, right? So, so we help them how to understand the problem in, in, in a better way, right? So these are the key skills uh, the child is going to acquire at, in this particular batch. What are the topics that we cover? So there are certain topics which are a part of the curriculum, 7th and 8th, eight eight, which of course help them uh, you know, master their school exams with the <coughs> amazing, uh, help them improve their school scores. But apart from that, there are certain topics which we borrow from grade 9th, grade 10th, even grade 11th uh, books. And these are not the topics which the child cannot understand. For example, uh, a topic like factorial, right? So factorial is a very simple notation, uh, right? So, so we introduce factorials here. And uh, so these are the topics we, we borrow from the higher grades so that we are able to improve their skills, logical skills, thinking skills, right? So, so, so it is not that we are 11th topics, we are teaching them the topics of grade 11, grade 12th and putting a lot of pressure on them. We are never of uh, you know, this philosophy to, to put a lot of pressure on the children. Just that if a child is able to take that, we should be giving him, as simple as that. And uh, these are the certain topics which we borrow, for example, uh, quadratic equation, arithmetic progression, which the child otherwise studies in class 10th. Uh, we introduce him in, in this particular level because uh, there are certain good contests like NMTC, AMC8, which ask problems from, from these topics. So AMC8 is a, a very amazing contest which is getting very popular. It's a US-based contest and a lot of students write this exam just to understand where do they stand at the global level. And uh, if you see the papers, the past year papers of AMC8, so there are a lot of topics uh, lot of problems which are asked from these particular topics and we believe that if the, these topics are introduced to the children in a nicer way they are able to take them very uh, amazingly and they are taking we've been uh, running these uh, this uh, course from the last for the last four years now and uh, the children who've uh, taken this course and got into the higher levels are amazing and uh, some of the students are also at the edge of representing India uh, uh, <laughs> right so so these are the topics that we borrow and, and do number theory, HCF, LCM, divisibility, divisors, decimal, exponents, exerts, playing with numbers, diffin equations, algebra, we introduce identities, linear equations in one variable, system of equations, polynomials, quadratic sequences, and uh, arithmetic progression, arithmetic, ratios and proportion, profit and loss, time and work. Geometry, we introduce, we focus a lot on geometry because uh, we believe that, uh, you know, uh, by improving geometry, introducing good geometry at this particular age, it improves their observation capacity, right? So angle chasing, congruent triangles, inequalities, constructions, the science behind the construction. For example, uh, again, the child, children at this age are able to make or uh, draw an angle of 60 degrees with compasses. But what is the science behind it? Why would making an arc and again, uh, cutting the arc uh, of the same length would make an angle of 60 degrees? What is the science behind it? What is the science behind the making the angle of 90 degrees? So we put a lot of attention to the basics, not only the formulas, but basics. Polygons, Pythagoras theorem and uh, parallelograms and uh, the triangle areas and combinatorics, we borrow these topics so that we believe that this is one topic which is independent of the formulas and if we are able to make them uh, understand what is the main logic behind the uh, counting is. Uh, they will be able to see things very amazingly in day-to-day -day basis. For example, things as simple as how many matches are going to be there in the next Football World Cup, how many matches are going to be there in the next version of um, Indian Premier League. So, so if you are able to tell uh, the basic logic, they will be able to calculate uh, these uh, in a very amazing way. 
Okay. So about the batch, right? So all these things we cover in this particular batch that is level five, and uh, this would consist of fifty-five live interactive sessions. The schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, seven to eight thirty p.m. And it is going to have be having a lot of uh, tests. So, so pattern, of course, we can discuss uh, later. And there are certain extra things. For example, if the child is uh, qualified, is eligible to write exam like IOQM, uh, normally all the eighth graders are eligible. So there will be extra sessions, camp sessions, which we give to all our internal students. Uh, there will be video solutions of all the assignments. Although the discussions are separate, but uh, we will be giving video solutions of all the assignment questions, video solutions of all the test questions, and test discussion classes are separate. Uh, doubt classes, and uh, we'll be having periodic uh, parent-teacher meeting along with adding all the students to a Telegram community. The batch will be in English. It is going to be taken by me. Uh, the usual price of the batch is ten thousand rupees uh, till twenty-sixth of January. We are running this Republic Day discount, and an additional ten percent is being uh, provided. So uh, the current price is double eight, double eight. The coupon code you can apply is ABM two zero. The link is in the description box. Also, there is a weekend version of this, right? So a lot of students join us uh, from outside India. They are not able to, you know, uh, uh, attend the classes live, which we do not want. Uh, <coughs> so for, for them, we've started the weekend version. It is going to be taken by Praveen sir. It is exactly the same thing, just that the classes are going to happen on weekends. So seven to eight thirty p.m. on Sunday. This is Indian Standard Time, and June and July will be having two classes a week, seven to eight thirty p.m. Just that. Uh, the previous batch it is going to end by September, and this batch is is going to elongate uh, later, and uh, because there are only one one class a week, so it, it is going to be kind of uh, nine month batch. So pattern test there are going to be a lot of tests, and if uh, the child is eligible to write IOQM, of course uh, the camp lectures, video solutions, everything is going to be exactly the same as uh, uh, discussed earlier. Also about the exams now, right? So there are certain exams which uh, the child should be giving at this grade, that is at seventh and eighth grade. So one exam is Math Kangaroo, which is uh, getting very pop popular in India. This is better than a lot of uh, your usual school contests that you give, uh, wherein you don't get to learn anything new. So Math Kangaroo is one exam wherein uh, uh, I mean it's an individual exam, and of course the schools can also register uh, uh, for for this particular exam. The focus is creative thinking and logical reasoning in mathematics, right? So you are not going to get the kind of problems that you study in schools, uh, even though the concept is going to be the same. But uh, the creativity, it is going to check a lot of creativity in you, and the topics are going to be arithmetic, geometry, patterns, and logical puzzles. That uh, exactly the kind of things that we do in level five. Exam format is multiple choice. Difficulty level is it? Of course, it improves by with grades. Single level competition and categorization is by grades. So there are different levels. Uh, and these are the names of the levels so what are the benefits it boosts logical thinking there is a global recognition as i said this exam is getting very popular by the day instills love for math and improves problem solving skills right so the problem which are new to you are you able to solve them on their own without uh, you know uh, using or any formula now what i have done is uh, i have also downloaded a sample paper of grade 7 and 8 so right so this is a sample paper for grade 7 and 8 of uh, math kangaroo So let us see the kind of problems. How many of the following four numbers are prime? So this is easy. In which of the following polygons, the marked angle is the largest, right? So so all these things we we discuss in the class, right? So all these things you might be knowing the formulas also, and but again, uh, you have to solve uh, quickly and in in the best possible way. Which of the following fractions has the largest value, right? So so you have to calculate this. And these are the observation based. These are amazing uh, problems. What is the smallest number of such triangles that could be added to the shape to turn it into a hexagon, right? So, so we want to. This is uh, a figure, and we want to turn it into a hexagon. And what is the smallest uh, number of triangles which we have to add? So again, it improves your creativity, thinking capacity. It improves your imagination skills, right? So these are amazing problems, right? So you can go to Math Kangaroo uh, India India site and uh, download these. Uh, Uh, papers and try to do them, and you'll feel good. The other exam that we recommend uh, to our students at this age is uh, the exam conducted by NMTC. Uh, exam called NMTC. It's a school-based exam, so only if your school uh, conducts this exam, uh, you can write this. Otherwise, you're not able eligible. So eligibility is from five to twelve. So again, the best part of these two exams is so fifth and sixth graders they have a common exam. Seventh and eighth graders common exam. Ninth and tenth common exam, and the same goes for kangaroo as well. Uh, this exam starts from grade five, 
and uh, focuses on building deep mathematical understanding. So the level of problems are really amazing, really tough. And this is exam is particularly a feast for the students who love mathematics uh, from the small age. Logical reasoning, number theory, geometry, and algebra, these are uh, the topics. And uh, the first, there are two stages. First stage is a kind of uh, objective stage. The second is subjective stage. And uh, these are the different levels. And you can always uh, you know, search about this exam if you don't know and uh, look for the sample papers. There are amazing uh, problems. Uh, otherwise, also, if, the, if you're not uh, in a school which uh, conducts this NMTC exam, you can always download the previous year papers and try doing uh, the problems. Particularly, if you're a math lover, you're going to enjoy uh, this particular exam. Okay, and last but not the least is uh, AMC 8. So AMC 8 is uh, an exam which is conducted in USA. Uh, it is for the students across the globe, for the students who are in 8 or below. So even 6th graders, 5th graders can write this exam. But uh, I mean, it's a very highly competitive structure. 25 problems to be done in 40 minutes and uh, the problem uh, are, are graded. For example, the first problem is uh, the easiest one and the last problem is the toughest one. So, but, the, but they contain equal points, right? So all uh, the problems are worth one point and uh, there's no negative marking. So any marks above 18, any points above 18 out of 25 is a super score. But uh, this is one exam which uh, a lot of students, a lot of math enthusiasts around the globe give. And uh, this kind of uh, tells you where you stand at this particular level, right? So a lot of math enthusiasts write this exam, so it's, it's become a global exam right, right now. So single level competition, it's an individual contest and open to students in grade six to eight, even fifth graders can give. Arithmetic, geometry, patterns, logical puzzles, and creative thinking, logical reasoning and mathematics, multiple choice questions. And it is conducted in January. So this version is going to be, I mean, this 2025 version is going to be conducted in, uh, on, on 25th of January. Benefits, build critical thinking, foundation of advanced exams. So the next level is AMC 10, AMC 12 uh, in USA wherein uh, students write this exam, if they, I mean, Indian students particularly write uh, AMC 10, AMC 12, particularly if they want to get into good foreign universities. So these good scores in these exams and the next level, uh, of course, uh, ha have a lot of weightage. Global benchmarking and improves time management. Right, so uh, some of the students who have attended these batches or who are in this current uh, uh, level five batch, you can... Uh, and we have one more student, Suvi. Myself Suvi, I study in ORM level 5 batch. I am being taught by Abhi Mahajan sir. He is a very good teacher and he's and we interact often in the class and uh, if the time is left at the end of the class, he makes us play some puzzles, games which we in which we have to think logically and mathematically. It helps us it helps us improve our uh, logical skills and help us solve the problems. Thank you. All right. So, so this is what the students had to say. And uh, uh, so I invite you all to join this uh, particular batch if you are in grade 7, grade 8, even if you are in grade 6 but doing really good, you can join this batch. And uh, the best part is uh, if you join and if you feel that uh, the level, uh, I mean, you are you've crossed this level and the level is too low, you can always shift to the higher level, that is level 6. And if you feel that the things are on the difficult side, you can always shift to the previous level, that is level 4. Right, so if you want to buy this, you can always uh, go to the description and uh, purchase the link, level uh, level 6 batch. And also, uh, the weekend uh, link is also there. And if you want to talk to any of the counselors, there is a Google form, which is there in the description. You can always fill that and the team is going to get back to you. All right. I have uh, I've answered all uh, the queries and if there are any more you can always uh, you know put the questions in the comment section take care god bless you bye everyone